I'm Mariah Ramharak back with Zone Update 2. Defending champions Mona High edged host Jonathan Grant 1-0 to earn their second consecutive victory of the season as action in the Issa Digicel Manning Cup continued on Thursday. Tarrant High registered the biggest margin of victory on the day, outgunning Gainstead 7-1 as Campion College rallied for a 2 0 draw against Jose Marti. Meanwhile, in the Issa Water de Costa Cup, Monroe College blanked Lacovia High 2 0 as St. Mary Technical clipped Iona 1 0, while Wycliffe Martin got the better of Horace Clark 3 1. Glenmore High hosts Gavi Maceo in an all Clarendon affair live on Sports Max on Saturday at 4 30 pm Eastern Caribbean time, 3 30 pm in Jamaica. President of the Guyana Amateur Swimming Association, Dwayne Scott, has sought to clarify assertions that his office's hindrance of the process by which former Trinidad and Tobago national swimmer Delroy Terrell would be able to switch allegiance to Guyana is among the indiscretions and shortcomings which led to the Guyana Olympic Association and the National Sports Commission dissolving their partnership with his organization. He was speaking on a Thursday's edition of the Sports Max Zone. I told you that there have been communication. Tommy Terrell and Garza was copied on that communication, clearly indicated royal aquatics position and material. And it is not a Garza position. Garza do not make a decision on that. Garza is guided by royal aquatics. So I think the fairest thing for Mr. Terrell to do is to reach out to royal aquatics to get his guidance on the matter, and, 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 and it's not by somebody who he would have spoken to that is not an authority figure on the matter, but to the official individual or group that is responsible for this, and he will be adequately informed. And I believe he is inadequately informed. Guyana's Priyana Ramdani and Trinidad and Tobago's Shekweda de Boule have advanced to the semi-finals of the women's doubles event at the 2024 Costa Rica Badminton Future Series. Ramdani and Deboule defeated the home pair of Jenny NG and Emma Rodriguez 21-9, 21-6. For only the eighth time in history and the first since 1998, a test match has been abandoned without a ball being bowled after there was no play possible on Friday's fifth and final day of the one-off test between Afghanistan and New Zealand. Rain also washed out the previous four days of the test, which would have been a first between the two nations. That was your Second Zone update for today. For details on these stories and so much more, log on to sportsmax.tv. Watch Sportsmax and all live sports action anytime, anywhere on the Sportsmax app. Download it now from the Google Play Store or the App Store.